I have to ask you about being one of the first openly gay stars. Yeah. What was that experience like? How do you mean? What, what, what led you to, to do that? Was it just a logical, obvious thing for you to do? And why do you think fewer, more people didn't do it? Oh, well, the second question is a big, giant answer. I mean, like, a, there's a tricky one to answer. Uh, for me, I, you know, I fell in love with a dude and started spending all my time with him. And therefore, you don't want to be, like, suppressive of that. And so as I started working more with, like, more, frequ more frequently, um, with more eyes on us, I figured that that was inevitability, and the opposite would be, again, suppressive. And like, we found ourselves going to movie premieres, and then wondering, like, well, what is that? So you're gonna go, you'll go around the other side of the, I'll mm. go down the red carpet by myself. But if we go down the red carpet together, then are we making some sort of statement by doing so? And so, and I didn't want to disrespect David on either direction. I didn't want to make David feel like he didn't exist in my life. And at the same time, I didn't want David's identity to be the guy that's dating me. So it's a very individual thing, you know? I think we live now in a time where people seem less concerned about who you're effing, and more importantly, who you fall in love with. It's not quite such a freak show kind of aberration. Certainly so, in 2013. Yeah. yeah. So I think to the, the second part of your question, like why don't more people do it? I mean, that's an easy thing to say, but if you're struggling with any of that yourself, you can't just go like, oh, okay, and then do it. Like it's little baby steps of acceptance in your own personal sphere. And then in, in, you, know, you have to choose the times that feel right to you to make moves. And, uh, and those moves could be for various reasons. So I think it's a super individual thing. What do you make of, of people outing other people? I mean, Lance Bass recently made, made a little bit of news by saying that he knows, obviously, other celebrities who are closeted, and mm -hmm. he has to sort of lie in order to, to keep them in the closet, to keep their cover. I presume that you know other people who we don't know about. Well, I'm a magician, so I'm really good at lying <laughs> without letting you know I'm doing so. <laughs> but what do you make of people who out other people? Well, it just depends on the context, I guess, right? You're never going to want to. You're never going to want to say anything to like freak people out. You don't want to say anything to prove a point. Like, I don't think. I don't think like uh, doing it in sort of an exploitive way makes any sense. Again, I just feel like that whole world is very personal, hmm. and so to nudge, I think it's not a good idea. Here's a good analogy. If you're going to jump into the pool and you're not sure how to swim, it's probably not so effective to just push someone into the pool, right? <laughs> a lot of people do that, and they yeah. will inevitably end up not drowning. But it's probably not the best way. It might be make more sense to like explain how to swim, explain how the water's fine, maybe you know dip your toe in. That assumes that the person is incapable of swimming and isn't in fact an expert swimmer who's just pretending not to be, right? I mean, it Again, depends, on, depends making, whether or not they've, they've reconciled themselves to their sexuality. directions because how, you know, how are you to know that that person is like the opposite? Yeah, I guess you don't. I mean, right. there, there are certain people who you know. For example, last week Gorka supposedly outed Shepard Smith, this, this Fox News mm -hmm. host. Now, I didn't know that there was any closet around him. I just always assumed that everybody knew that he was gay, a bit like Anderson Cooper or something. Uh, and but again, like with those people, but, you're choosing to watch them feed you information. Their job is is for you to is to gain information from them. So from their point of view, I can totally understand why you wouldn't want people who may have a bias against you, if they know more about your personal life, to be watching the news that you're giving and already thinking that you're slanting it in a specific way. That's the other person's bias, not theirs. But I can understand why they wouldn't want to put their own personal world into that. Mm. So I, I I I can understand why they would not want to be doing that in that specific instance. Yeah, I mean, with Anderson other... or something. Anderson give, t tells the news. Yeah. He has conversations with people about newsworthy subjects. And so he, understandably, probably didn't want people to know a lot about him because that's not his job, you know? I don't want to know about Walter Cronkite's exploits. I want to watch Walter Cronkite read the news to me. You don't know what that means either. Bless <laughs> your heart. He was a newscaster. I know who Walter Cronkite is. <laughs> uh, or was. Uh,